Welcome to the video overview of the features of the CCH Pro System FX Practice Management May 2018 release. Our Spring Practice Management release, version 2018.18.01 will be available on Sunday, May 13th for the work week starting Monday, May 14th. We updated one of our standard reports, the GL Accounting Report. You can use the GL Accounting Report to reconcile your accounting period and create entries for the general ledger. The date range entered on the report should match your firm accounting period. All time expenses, billing, and accounts receivable transactions with the post date within the date range entered is reflected. Corrections to WIP that have a post date in the current report period, but correct transactions that have a post date in a prior period are highlighted as a prior period adjustment. With this release, the report calls out prior period WIP corrections and WIP deletions. For WIP, corrections that have been posted and corrected in the current report period are listed in the notes section at the bottom of the report. With this release, there were no new prior period adjustment lines for AR corrections. This is a sample page of the enhanced report. This highlights the WIP section of the report. You can see the two additional lines for prior period corrections and deletions. The section starts with the current period postings, calls out the corrections to prior period transactions, and nets to the beginning balance. There is no change to the progress billing section of the report on the summary page. If there were progress transfers between client engagements, these transfers are reflected on the detail client pages. Unlike the WIP section of the report, all voids and deletions no matter what the original date are included in the AR line items. The notes section of the report highlights corrections that were made to current period postings, progress transfers between client engagements in the current period, the number of void reversals made to accounts receivable in the current period, and the dollar amounts of write-ups and write-downs posted in current billings. There are three enhancements to the billing module. The client list in billing includes user preferences for the client list columns. These options now include outstanding progress amounts. NetWhip is always displayed in the WIP column. Additionally, any unposted WIP for the client is a preference item. Generally in the billing process, the decision for the WIP items to bill is left to the bill manager. That portion can be done online or using a billing worksheet and handing it off to the back office. Invoicing is generally done in batches by the back office. To streamline this process, the change to the invoice status can now be done for a single client or for multiple clients at a time. In billing, when making WIP selections to bill, the Client Notes button now displays a caption called Notes and includes two options to look at all client notes. The current model includes all client notes. In addition, a new option provides notes that are marked with billing as the type of note. When the user selects the billing notes only to display, the notes are displayed continuously with the most recent dates at the top. The employee setup now has new preference items. New preferences display the employee billing rates for each employee bill rate number. Most firms set up 1 to 3 rates, but 25 rates are available. In 2017, we added the ability to set up a custom bill rate for projects. To determine which employee bill rate to use, there are two ways to get a list of the bill rate amounts. One is creating a report using the report writer. Now, the second way is to use the employee setup columns to display and print employee bill rates. This is the setup of the employee bill rate number for calculating the WIP associated with the project. We have added one enhancement for contact management. The contact management client lists include the ability to filter lists for inactive clients and projects. Alerts and release notes will now be available in two places. We added two new nodes to the main menu navigation bar. Alerts currently is a tab in the employee's time entry folder. The alerts may now be accessed from either the navigation bar or the employee folder. Release notes are currently available from the Help menu. However, by adding these to the main menu navigation bar, they are now more prominent and we hope firms will take advantage of the new features. 
we have made using security easier, as well as, added more permissions. For ease of use, we have created a navigation bar that allows the user the ability to select the security subject in an alphabetical sequence. Click on the subject and jump directly to the subject and its related items. This is the new look and feel of the navigation bar. Security Setup provides a new permission for users who update the project status in the Set Project Status folder. If you use electronic routing, the status change updates the root list on the last tab of the folder. The user cannot edit this list if the permission, Delete Routing Status is set to No. The default is Yes. For large firms in particular, we have added security to allow an IT designate in the firm to set up passwords for employees. A new report writer permission includes show cost. You can use this to create reports that include cost, but to determine who can create and print reports that include the cost amount. If an employee does not have permission to show cost on report writer reports, these reports will mask the cost field on the report. Thank you for viewing the overview of the new features of the Practice Management May 2018 release.